Crocodile vs. Python Once upon a time, the reptiles that ruled the Earth were dinosaurs. They're long gone, but many reptiles have stood the test of time, and they are the new reptilian rulers. In the classification of reptiles, there are four orders. Testidines, Crocodilia, Squamata, and Rhynchocephalia. Which animals of which orders are the most dominant? Which reptiles want to claim the throne of king? Let's take one of the most feared animals from the order Crocodilia, the crocodile, and pit him against a terrifying animal from the order Squamata, the python. So the stage is set. It's a crocodile versus a python. What's going to happen? Exploring these reptiles. First, we need to explore these reptiles so we know exactly what we're getting into. We're ready to send a crocodile and a python into battle, but it's not like there is just one crocodile or one python in the world. We need to determine just which ones we're selecting for this fight. There are 14 types of crocodiles spanning across the world. To name a few, there's the American crocodile in Central America, Northern South America, and some on the southern tip of Florida in the United States. There's the Nile crocodile spanning much of Africa. And there's the saltwater crocodile that is present in northern Australia, South and Southeast Asia, and Oceania. There are 11 types of pythons in the world. Although they don't span as much of the world as crocodiles, they do span large portions of Africa and Asia. To name a few types of python, there's the African rock python all over sub-Saharan Africa the reticulated python found in Southeast Asia, the Sumatran blood python found in Southeast Asia, and the Burmese python, which is quite common in South and Southeast Asia. Let's choose some of the most popular options here. The Nile crocodile and the saltwater crocodile are probably the two most popular crocs in the world, and the reticulated python and the Burmese python are the most popular constrictors. We'll break down each of these animals just to get a good sense of where we stand if that battle were to happen between either croc and either python. So, let's get started. Crocodiles We're going to take a look at our crocodile champions first. There is the saltwater crocodile, which just so happens to be the largest crocodile there is, and thus, the largest reptile alive. Saltwater crocodiles are generally around 21 feet long, but some have exceeded 23 feet in length. They're usually going to be upwards of 2,000 pounds, with 2,500 pounds being typical, but some have clocked in at an enormous 4,400 pounds. Our Nile crocodile is no slouch. He just so happens to be the second largest crocodile and the second largest reptile. A Nile crocodile has a maximum length of 21 feet, but around 17 feet is the average length. They can weigh as much as 2,400 pounds, but you'll typically be dealing with a Nile crocodile that's around 1,000 pounds or more. Ironically, where the Salty is the largest crocodile and the Nile is the second largest, if we're looking at bite force, we swap the two. The Nile crocodile has not only the strongest bite of all crocodiles, but it has the strongest bite of any living animal, a staggering 5,000 pounds per square inch. The saltwater crocodile possesses the second strongest bite force among crocodiles at 3,700 pounds per square inch. It falls to third strongest of any living animal, just barely behind a great white shark with a 4,000 pound per square inch bite force. By the way, the Nile crocodile and saltwater crocodile don't just have the strongest and third strongest bites of the animal kingdom. They're miles ahead of the rest of the pack. Coming in at fourth is the American alligator at 2,125 pounds per square inch, about 1,600 pounds per square inch less than the salty. Fifth overall is the hippo at 1,800 pounds per square inch, and sixth is a jaguar at 1,500 pounds per square inch. So, a bite from one of these top two crocodiles is not just strong, it is devastating. Besides the size of these crocs and the sheer power packed into their jaws, there is more about them that is horrifying. They're semi-aquatic, so you could find them on land or in the water, and they're dangerous in both mediums. 
However, the last place you want to come across a crocodile is in the water. They are far more agile and dangerous in the water, unless, of course, you were a fully aquatic being. And even then, you still don't want to see a croc there. Crocodiles have around 80 teeth and will replace them about 50 times in their lifespan, which could be anywhere from 35 to 70 years. They also have osteoderms on their skin, which are tiny bones that act as a sort of armor. They are ambush predators that sneak up on prey and attack when the moment is right. And if all that didn't scare you enough, get ready for the sneaky, scary fact about crocs. Unlike most other reptiles, crocodiles have a cerebral cortex. This is the outer layer of neural tissue on the brain, which plays a key role in attention, awareness, perception, thought, and memory. So it's not bad enough that they're strong brutes, but they're smart and they remember. Let's see what the pythons are working with. Pythons. As we said, we'd be working with the reticulated python and the Burmese python, two of the most popular species when somebody says python. And there is good reason for that. If we take a look at the reticulated python, it is the longest snake in the world. They regularly reach lengths just short of 20 feet and oftentimes are indeed 20 feet long. That is a scary sight, but they can even exceed 21 or 22 feet with some really large specimens. Reticulated pythons are huge. Not only are they the longest snakes in the world, in terms of weight, they are the third largest. They will often weigh over 100 pounds, nearing 150 pounds, and some reticulated pythons have even hit weights of 165 pounds. Now, when we're talking about some of the world's biggest snakes, in addition to the reticulated python, one of the other top candidates is, in fact, the Burmese python. The Burmese python is, on average, the second heaviest snake. Both of these pythons only fall short to the green anaconda in terms of heaviest snakes. Burmese pythons will typically weigh around 160 pounds, but there have been several specimens that have clocked in at more than 200 pounds, and they are typically between 15 and 19 feet long. So we have the long and quite heavy reticulated python and the heavy and quite long Burmese python, both gigantic snakes, but with somewhat different dimensions. Both are animals you'd never want to encounter while lost in the wild nor does any animal that a python considers prey. The problem is, if you're an animal living in the area of a reticulated python or a Burmese python, you may not know for sure if it considers you prey. It all depends on the size of the python because they are masters of eating humongous prey that you wouldn't expect. They'll commonly eat rodents, lizards, and birds. They will also eat smaller mammals like monkeys. But when they're bigger, they've been known to eat wallabies, pigs, even antelope. There have even been times where the remains of a small leopard were found inside a python's stomach. So, not only is a python a formidable opponent to some larger animals and even some larger predators, but it might finish the battle by eating its opponent. Now, when a python scopes out an animal that it wants to eat, it will bite the prey and then quickly wrap around it with its body. You've seen the horrifying image one of these constrictors wrapping around the body of an animal, trapping it, and cutting off the animal's blood flow, completely smothering it until it dies. Then, the python may eat the prey at its leisure. Just imagine being trapped between those coils. If that python is around 20 feet, that's so much body of the snake to wrap around its prey over and over again, squeezing the life out of its victim. While squeezing its prey, even smaller reticulated pythons can apply 6 to 10 pounds of force per square inch. But the largest ones, like the 21-footers we're taking a look at, can apply 50 pounds of force per square inch. Yes, every inch of that 21-foot python is applying 50 pounds of force, each and every inch. And while that is impressive, the Burmese python applies even more force with its weight and power. The larger Burmese pythons, the ones hitting 19 feet in length can apply over 200 pounds of force per square inch. 
it's no wonder they can bring down an entire deer with that sheer power. Not to mention these pythons can bite down with strong jaws. Their bite force is estimated to be in the hundreds when it comes to pounds per square inch, and they have long, sharp teeth that puncture the skin, causing nasty wounds. Usually, a python will bite a creature, and it's a deadly bite. It traps the prey and wraps its body around the victim. There is an upside to this for a potential prey item, however, since pythons have a lower metabolism. If they just ate something big, they could be full for several months. So, if you come across a snake with a big bulging belly, it probably won't attack you. Breaking down the fight. So, who do you think would win? Crocodile or Python? We'll break it down with the two fights we have on the docket. First, let's pit the Nile Crocodile against the reticulated Python. The Nile Crocodile is going to weigh more than the Python, possibly double the amount, so the Python won't have the power to constrict it. And that's going to be a problem for the snake. Now, this wouldn't be the first time these two animals would fight. There have been battles between Nile crocs and reticulated pythons before, but usually, this happens when the croc is younger and smaller. In these situations, the reticulated python will wrap itself around the smaller croc, squeeze it to death, and eat it. But with a bigger, older croc, you're probably looking at the opposite situation. The python may try to squeeze the croc, but the crocodile may get its jaws around the python first and take a chomp out of it it will probably go for a death roll, ripping the python apart. In this case, the crocodile wins. What if the saltwater crocodile went up against the Burmese python? The salty is going to weigh more, and this is a much bigger difference than in our last battle. The salty is going to weigh at least 10 times as much as the python. This python won't be able to constrict the crocodile. The croc will break free and rip the snake apart. It's likely that the python wouldn't even try to attack a saltwater crocodile. But even if it did, the croc would bite the python first and would win. Conclusion Whether we're talking about a Nile crocodile against a reticulated python or a saltwater crocodile against a Burmese python, the crocodile is going to be the winner here. Crocs have a strong bite, strong armor, and they're smart. They're the kings of the modern reptile kingdom.